Thank you, everybody. Uh, my name's Christian McKay. Uh, I'm from the McKay Christian Lobby, and uh, looking forward to talking to you today about Chilliwack and the school board trustee uh, by-election that is moving forward. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Karen Bondar is uh, very liberal, I'll say for that at this point, and I'll let everybody else draw some conclusions from uh, John uh, being here today. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, we also did invite Karen Bondar to join us because uh, we've been sharing her videos and clips and pictures that have been out there. And uh, myself, I, my flags were up. I have uh, never seen some of the videos like I have from Karen Bondar that were out there. So I thought, who am I? Other than my flags are up and this is scary, there, there had to be something more going on. Things that are moving forward, uh, Soji123 was just the beginning of that. So when we see Karen Bondar moving in with such a strong display of who she is, not trying to hide any of your videos uh, as much as she could have, uh, we have something to be pretty concerned about here. So today, uh, we're really just blessed uh, to have John uh, Euler here today. Uh, so thank you, John, for coming. Christian, thank you again for your concern and the opportunity to have me share from my professional clinical uh, perspective, the concerns about Dr. Bondar. It's nothing personal. This is simply, the question is, is she the right fit to be on a K through 12 school board? Dr. Bondar holds a PhD in biology. She's eminently qualified to teach at the college or university level. That's where she should be spending her time. But because of what she has produced in terms of a lot of supposed educational videos, that are geared toward kids, and they are highly, highly sexually deviant. As a matter of fact, some of the most sexually, sexually deviant I've ever seen, quite frankly, in educational uh, terms, uh, that's a huge concern. And the fact that she has hidden or taken down a lot of those videos leads me to conclude that she knows they're inappropriate, and parents are not being given all the information from which to be able to draw a conclusion, an informed decision about Dr. Bonder, parents deserve to be respected enough to be provided with a complete amount of information. In brief, what are some of my concerns about Dr. Bonder? The first is she is as hypersexualized in her message to young people as you can get. What do I mean? Well, when you start highlighting the virtues of being a swinger, or three-way sacks or group sacks or golden showers, that's really bad. You've got an issue. As a matter of fact, let's let her describe it. Come and join me, Dr. Karen Bondar, as I delve deep into my favorite topic, animal sex. Do you spend all day dreaming about sex? Well, it's about to get wild. Swingers, orgies, three-ways, whatever you want to call it. Don't knock it till you've tried. Come and join me, Dr. Karen Bondar, as I delve deep into my favorite topic, animal sex. Ever heard of the phrase, fuck like rabbits? <laughs> Spiked penises, golden showers, and a 15 meter long member. This is action like you've never seen before. So from penis snapping to vaginal plugging, if you want head, you'll have to eat your partner first. I'd rather be stuck here in these pants with you than forced to die in a sea of ejaculate. Is she the kind of role model that parents want influencing the minors in Chilliwack? Uh, she is someone who's extremely sexually deviant and is using videos to influence people toward deviance and encouraging men to sexually objectify women. She's teaching boys to sexually objectify women. I'd like to talk to you about group sex. No need to be embarrassed. Now, while humans generally accept genetic donations from only one donor at a time, you can see that in the animal kingdom, sometimes it makes sense to be a little whore. Uh, predators would use her exact kinds of videos to groom kids. I know what uh, the men in my sex offender treatment groups have used to groom kids, and they would use her exact kind of videos, whether she's aware of that or not. That is a huge concern. In this episode, we're talking 50 shades of gray in the animal kingdom. Your mother was wrong. Masturbation is good for you, and everyone is doing it. As a matter of fact, if the men in my sex offender treatment groups 
were found in possession of any of Dr. Bondar's videos, they would more than likely be deemed in violation of their parole uh, constraints and sent back to prison. Penises. Ah, oh, the penis. I wonder what image you have in your mind right now. Perhaps one of the human variety, your partner, or one from a particularly memorable one night stand. Well, human penises are actually quite boring when we compare them to the rest of the animal kingdom. Another point is, because of her stances and inclinations toward normalizing extreme sexual deviance and promoting the legalization of anything and everything, no matter how deviant or extreme, she will necessarily have blind spots uh, with regard to the primary red flag indicators of sophisticated sexual predators. She will be unable to adequately and meaningfully protect the kids she's charged with protecting. I'd like to talk to you about group sex. No need to be embarrassed. Now, while humans generally accept genetic donations from only one donor at a time, you can see that in the animal kingdom, sometimes it makes sense to be a little whore. This time on Wild Sex, we take the golden shower to a whole nother level, and I find out how far I can pee. There's a whole lot of wild sex going on in the animal kingdom. I think I'm gonna go get me some of that. She takes a legalize everything stance when it comes to uh, legalizing prostitution and lowering the age of consent. That is an invitation for those that would start to groom and eventually traffic kids. This time on Wild Sex, we're taking a look at all the ladies who are engaging in nature's oldest profession, prostitution. When you start saying that boys on boys and girls on girls and boys on girls and girls and everything's fine, you've just excused away sexual molestation and you turned a blind eye to those who've been sexually groomed with porn and who's a, who've abused kids in the first place. Let's face it, homosexuality happens. In fact, in the animal kingdom, gay and lesbian sex is pretty much as common as straight sex. Boys on boys, girls on girls, boys on girls, boys on boys on boys on girls. You get the picture. So the next time someone tells you that the natural union is between one male and one female, you might want to remind them that the only added benefit of a male-female partnership is the possibility to produce offspring. If we're going to call natural all the stuff that actually happens in nature, then boys having sex with boys and girls having sex with girls is completely natural. Another concern is, as a school board member, she would be mandated to report and be able to meaningfully identify suspected sexual abuse. As it turns out, she's in no position to be able to identify what constitutes sexual abuse, especially as it relates to uh, grooming, exploitation, and trafficking. So you see, you don't have to look too far in the animal kingdom to find examples of homosexuality. And it's about time all humans woke up to that. Well, thank you for your time. I encourage you to access the video through the link at the bottom of this video. And thank you for being willing to look into the issues that we've raised to discern who might be or who is not the best person to be in a position of influence within this Chilliwack School District.